Oh, it's not that I know, don't agree with, um, you know, what you just said, but you have to realize that it's black people are like white people are not being hunt, haunted, hunted after. Y'all can come here and live a great freaking life. Alabama is a safe haven. The PhD what? fraternities and sororities are a safe haven you, for you white people. You think you're being hunted? I, let me tell. Okay, y'all can laugh, but until you have walked as a black person on this campus. Y'all, y'all truly, y'all truly don't understand. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back again to a new video. Today, we're going to be checking out. Should we judge people by the color of the skin? Okay, this is actually cook. I can actually kick because of kicking us. Let's check this video out together. Hi, um, my name is Erin. Uh, I'm a student here, and I'm an African American studies major. But um, one thing I do agree with that you haven't said tonight is the school choice thing. I do agree that you should be able to go to a school that's outside of your zip code. I went to a great high school. That's exactly why I was able to come here. But um, my other question is that um, what are some examples of critical race theory? Because I know like the another question that another girl came with, she said that she had to learn CRT in her sorority. And what I, what I thought it was is that, you know, you should, um, know how to interact with people of other races because I went to a school where it's you know mostly Caucasian people and I had to learn how to interact with other people so is it something like that or is it something deeper that we don't really know no uh, it's it's super simple so let me just kind of ask you I bet we agree do you do you support black only dormitories well when I think of black only dormitories I believe that you're talking about like maybe HBCUs because it's nope. mostly black people no, no 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 where no. are these Western Washington University public school in Washington as black okay. only dormitories. Is that something you would support? I mean, I would probably live in one, but I mean, that wait, I'm- Wait, so I you mean, don't want to live with white people? I didn't say, I mean, I have, I, I didn't say that. But um, I mean, it's, it's kind of hard. Sometimes like I have most, I mean, you know, I have a lot of white friends or whatever, but I, I sometimes, I mean, it's hard to fit in here. Well, um, when you go here and you're a different color, I mean, it's not hard well, what, to- what, Would you support white only dormitories? It's, it's some some around here, not many black people go here, so it technically is white only if you think about it. No, it's not. <laughs> no, I mean, well, let me let me ask you another question. I, didn't, I don't think anybody here would. Oh, well, some people might, you know, support that. I mean, I never said I supported any only kind of thing. I no, I'm, I'm asking. That's why I'm asking, right? I think that you know. Do you ra support white only? Dormitories? Absolutely not. I think it would be I, racist. It's and preposterous. Disgusting. I believe that. And it guess will. what? Black only dormitories are racist too. Uh, I mean, I, day, I guess so. I might live in one if I could, but. I can't, so. Okay, well, let me ask you another question. Uh, at Columbia University, they have black-only graduation ceremonies. Would you support that? I mean, if it's, is it just like, so are they not able to graduate with the white people? Is that why they can't? Well, they have it? a separate ceremony just for black people. I mean, I guess it's kind of like the separate, separate ceremony when they don't want to go to graduation. They want to do it online. That's how I so, think of it. So do you think segregation is evil and wrong? I mean, Black people weren't even able to join sororities here until 2012, so not the PhD one. So, you know, I, segregation here. I George just, Wallace I just in front know of the that's not true. And like, th there's okay, when when were um, PhD sororities and fraternities desegregated? 2013. Oh, so you're trying 2012. to tell me that black people were not able to join a fraternity? Yes. Because do, you of the remember color George, of do you remember George Wallace too? Segregation yeah. now, segregation, you know, for all, yeah, forever. That's what, that happened you're, as well. that's what you're espousing when you say that black only graduation ceremonies or dormitories. Black only graduation uh, ceremonies are the least of our problems, least of yours. Do you think that you'll be able to go to an HBCU and have this same turnout and have these same people? I've not, I've, let me well, tell you. Well, I would hope so, but I mean. So what would you say to them? But, but here's the thing. Say? I'm sorry, what? What would you say to a... Uh, room full of black people about you know what i would say here. i'd say your skin color means nothing you're made in the image of god you're right but oh i completely agree but Perfect. i can tell you i can tell you right now i can tell you right now i'm a christian i believe in god but i i have been going here for three years i'm a junior i have mo oh is it my i'm sorry no you're fine um, i have most definitely faced racism and prejudice no matter what i believe in and it's it's just really hard to sit up here and listen to People come up here and say, oh, I don't want to learn CRT. It's just making you able to interact with other types of people. I have well, no problem. No, it's not. So let me just tell you. So at the Georgia public schools in Atlanta, they put black sixth graders in one classroom and white sixth graders in another classroom. 
Is that evil? I've never seen. Can you show me a video of those, Happy of those to. kids? It, Atlanta segregation of public schools. Well, it was national news. I have, I, not to interrupt, but I have, I have family members that go to, to schools in these areas. And I also have people who live in no, no, redlining no. districts right, but where I'm just they asking, can't go you, to good schools. Do you support segregation? No, I do not. Okay, we agree. Therefore, okay. black-only dormitories and black-only graduation ceremonies and putting sixth graders in one classroom based on skin color or the other, those are, out, those are outgrowths of CRT. So learning, so, okay, so tell me, give me an example of what critical race theory is. I don't, so, that was my first I'll, I'll be happy to tell you. So critical race theory is an emphasis at saying skin color matters, that the color of someone's skin is important in judging the value of the human being. I get that, but if I were, to, if you were teaching a class that is like that was that was talking about critical race theory, we were all sitting here. Yes. What would your what would your lecture be like? What tell me what are you, what are your points like? Who is this author that you're so reading? So Herbert from about Marcuse critical... and okay. an author by the last name of Spinoza wrote a book called One Dimensional Man in the okay. 1960s. Herbert Marcuse came from the uh, Frankfurt School in the 1930s, and he started this at Columbia University. Coming out of a Marxist belief of power dynamics, right. he believed that that power struggles were not just the rich versus the poor, but also black versus white. And he wanted to expand the kind of conversation to also engage racial dynamics. Inherent in critical race theory is a belief that people are not individuals, they're members of tribes. Inherent in the idea of critical race theory is that there is no free speech or reason or scientific inquiry. These are white supremacist Eurocentric constructs that have been put into the Western world. And, and the one that is the one that I think that is um, most prevalent, CRT believes racism is everywhere, that racism is the norm, that racism is within our systems, it's in our language, it's in our customs, it's in our codes, it's in all these sorts of things. Now, that's a super quick version of what CRT is, so happy to dive into that more, but I think it's, we don't have to overcomplicate it, which is, do you think people should be judged based on the color of their skin? It's not that I think that, but it's that it's happening. And you cannot ignore that I might not be treated the same as right. him as so he walks through You're right, door. it is happening. Like at Coca-Cola, they say they need to train their employees to abolish whiteness. At AT&T, they said they would need to train their employees to get rid of whiteness. We have a supply and demand issue with racism in our country. We have an incredibly low supply of racism and incredible demand to try to fulfill it. So we've created racism where it doesn't exist and try to turn everyone into mini racists against each other, which has now manifested itself into a massive anti-white movement in our country where I believe more than anything else, we should care about character, mm. not skin color. Do you agree with that? It's not, I don't, I don't believe that you understand what I'm saying. It's not that I don't agree with not, um, I'm sorry. Oh, it's not that I know, don't agree with, um, you know, what you just said, but you have to realize that it's you, black people are like white people are not being hunt, haunted, hunted after. Y'all can come here and live a great freaking life. Alabama is a safe haven. The PhD what? fraternities and sororities are a safe haven you, you, for you white people. You think you're being hunted? I, let me tell okay, y'all can laugh, but until you have walked as a black person on this campus, y'all y'all truly y'all truly don't understand. And I under, and I have I've gone to school with white people my whole life. I've I've so, gone so but I, it's I, just I, I will end with this. Um, you're not being hunted at the University of Alabama. And there is no boogeyman that's trying to get you. It's not. You're making. You're making. You live you're making a, it seem. You live in the least racist country in the history of the world. You're in, Ala you're in has, Alabama. You are literally yes, in the the that, place where it's, it's not okay. You yes. You mean you mean you the place that has given you more talking time than any other person here, and where they what, sit you think respectfully. You're supposed to shut me down and be like, go sit down. I mean, of yes, course I'm gonna that, talk to that you. That would have happened a hundred years ago. You're right. A hundred years ago, you might not have been allowed to come into this room, so which would have been bow to you because that's which would have been happening. evil. No, instead, we are here. We're creating a movement to say we never want to go back to the segregation that once existed in this country that is now being pushed by people in corporate America, in academia and other places. We want to strive for a country that cares about character and the soul and the spirit of the individual, not on tribes, not on the melanin content in people's skin. And I will say this as compassionately as I can. 
is that you are not being hunted as a black person in America. There is not a single statistic that affirms that. There's not a single data point. Instead, the opposite is true. We are the least racist, most accepting, multiracial country in the history of the planet. And I pray one day you'll be thankful to live in that country. Okay. Thank you for being here tonight. Thank you. Um, everybody. CJ, CJ, come here. Really quick. I have a question. Come here. Go right there. Okay. So CJ, just really quick. You're a black person. Are you hunted at the university? You know, I don't, I don't feel hunted at this university, but I guess the difference between me and some people here is that I don't choose to be a victim, Charlie, which I think, which I think is the biggest problem we have here today are people who wake up every single day looking for a reason to be oppressed, looking for a reason to cry and make an excuse about why they're not in a position to go win. I don't see the color of my skin as a disability. I see it as simply an accessory that I couldn't control. I've been black all my life. I've been black today, and I'm thriving here. I think that's a, that's a roll tide right there, right? I don't and know. so, CJ, let me ask you, CRT, yeah. racist? It's not just racist, it's the exact iteration of white supremacy just in reverse. I think it's important that we start teaching young people not to hate other people because of the color of their skin. We can teach black people to be proud of who they are without telling white people they should be ashamed of who they are. You know? Amen. So, closing thought, CJ. Is this trying to divide the country? It's, it's not only trying to divide the country, it's trying to break apart the foundation upon which it was built. You know, people forget the words of MLK, Rosa Parks, all those people who fought so hard for us to be united country where we didn't see the color of one's skin, but, the, but their character. This is about taking us away from the vision and the dream of Martin Luther King and just taking us to the dream of Kamala Harris. And I don't want to live that dream. Amen. CJ, you're a great American. Give it up Thank for CJ, so everybody. So good. God bless you, man. Everybody, this was great tonight. I want to thank some of the disagreements. It was great as always. Everybody, Alabama is a great state. It truly is. And I just want to say God bless this wonderful country and for everyone being here tonight. And in closing, this, the future is dependent on what you do. If we act and if we're optimistic and solution-oriented, our best days are ahead. It is a gift from the Lord to live in America, the greatest nation ever to exist in the history of the world. God bless you guys, and roll tide. God bless. Okay, this was interesting to watch. Um, it, was, it, was also, it was just at the same time also funny and strange seeing the lady say like she would love to be in a, in a black space school few black people she would prefer that uh i feel like a lot of black people play their victim role a lot every single time they play the victim role that they have been oppressed according to her she's been haunted she they play that victim role every single time guys um she used that word i mean i mean i mean several times and she's wearing face marks i don't know why she's wearing face marks i don't know if she's hiding something but at the same time um i get her point of view she's feeling kind of like oppressed or as a victim as she's a black person but when you when you keep seeing yourself as a black person you will never move anywhere you have to see yourself that it's your character that judge who you are the way you behave the way you act is how people are going to judge you when people see you first they see your your color your skin color your melanin that's what they see first then when you speak they know who you really are you understand? That is, that is how people know who you are, your character, how you display yourself, how you behave. They know if you are good or you're bad. That's not by your skin color. So um, I, don't, I don't know why people are always feeling that victim role and this is exactly what the lady is feeling. She's, been, she's, a, she's acting like a racist. I'll use that word. She, from my own point of view, she's acting like a racist. She just wants to be where the black people are. She don't want to be with the other skin color. No, that is not how this world works. We all know um, what was done in the um, sixth, I was say, sixth centuries was bad to black people. We all know that well, we are, America is trying to move forward in a way that every skin color is accepted. The, the Hispanic, the black, every skin color is accepted. Asian people are fully accepted. Asian came to America poor. And they don't really have anything, but they grew out to be one of the richest in America. You understand? So it's not only about your skin color, it's about your person, it's about how you act, it's about you. The person you display to other people as this is who you are. That is how they'll treat you as. 
I know some people are racist in America. We all know that is true. There are people who are racist in America. But if black, a black man or a black woman keep on seeing themselves as black and they are a victim, they would never move forward. They have to see themselves more than that. So comment below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up, share this video to as many as you can, subscribe to our channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking, I don't own papers, pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, in my bed. I got scales all